Hello friends, I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator at FrenchyStamps.com. Today's video, it's a special video uh, done for a split coat stamper and I'm doing the foil um, stained glass. I bet you can see and I try it also with the copper and to be honest I think I like the black for the stained glass better. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is take a piece of window sheet. So I get a piece of window sheet and you want to use your embossing buddy. I forgot it a few times and it make a big difference. So you're going to um, do the embossing buddy first. You're going to take Versamark. Take the stamp of your choice and you want like a detailed stamp and the leaf from Gather Together I'm using seem to do a lovely job. So we're going to stamp that here, give a good impression, hold your window sheet there so it don't slide, remove this, oops, and then we will use a black embossing powder and we're going to emboss our leaf like here we go and I use the embossing buddy it should really remove here here we go so you see the embossing buddy make a big difference for the static um, on the outside there I'm not worried about it because it's going to get a uh, cut so let me remove this and we're going to eat set this so it's going to emboss it. So after you're done embossing this, we're going to color the back of it. Yes, we have to color the back of it. So let me finish this quick. And when I color the back of it, we're going to color it with alcohol markers. So in this case, I'm using Stamping Blend. And I like to, so make sure it's the back. You're going to feel the front of the back. And I like to use uh, the lighter color first. So this is Daffodil. And it doesn't matter if it go on the outside because uh, we're going to cut it. So I'm just co adding color here and there. And you see it's still some white left in there. Now I'm going to use Pumpkin Pie. And I'm going to add a little bit of pumpkin pie here and there. And then I'm going to use um, cherry cobbler. And this is all the dark one. And I'm going to add just a little bit. And that is very uh, dark. So sometimes I come back with a lighter color. First, let's do some green. That is all olive. And I go pretty much at the tip. So let's say it didn't change all the color yet. Here we go. When you mix color, just wipe your tip. Now I'm going to use back my pumpkin pie here. And I'm going to blend a little bit of that cherry cobbler. Just because it's so pronounced, the cherry cobbler. And then it dry fast but you want to give a little bit of time to dry so you can see here now when you done with that I just cut around and you see here I had forgot my uh, embossing buddy just cut a little bit around now you're going to take um, uh, aluminum foil that is just the kitchen foil and this is the heavy duty so usually I just crunch it, but because it's the heavy beauty, I don't want to crunch it. It's hard to open again. So I'm just going to crimple it in my hand. Et voila. Now I'm using the adhesive sheet. I got the Sizzik adhesive sheet here. You're going to peel this up. So the sticky, it's at the bottom there. Take your foil. You want it crunched, but then you want it, so now I'm just going to try not to make holes in it. If you get little holes, don't worry about it. We're going to take this, put that between our sheet here, and then I will 
put that right here. Voila. Now you're going to take your um, like um, bone folder and keep this on top so you don't get all sticky and flat this up. Okay, now you're going to take your leaf And I really get place for two. So the one that we just finished there, I'm going to go ahead and see. I just cut that like this. Cut around. And then, uh, oops, very important. The side that it's embossed needs to face up. I almost make a boo-boo there. Face up. Okay, so the side that you emboss, face up. Oh, sorry, back up the bus here. One more step before that. I'm sorry. Put your, um, so this was the front. Put this down. Now you're going to lift this. We need that sticky part there. So you're going to take this, bring this down. And you don't really want to put your fingers on the foil. Because what's going to happen is that you won't have the sticky. Okay, now I'm starting. I'm using my piece that was at the top. I'm using a silicone mat at the bottom to help me out. Put that there. Now when you peel this here, peel it down. I don't peel it up because if you peel it up, the glue on it will not stick on the foil. So you want to peel it down. Keep it down. So you, really you want to roll it roll it okay now the uh, side that it's embossed it's face up face up now to help me I just put this at the top here this part it's a little bit sticky and then here we go I won't do both of them when it's enough for now <laughs> For this right here we go now I just took my snip and I just cut around it very very simple just cut around it and when you're done cutting you get that see how pretty it is you, the crackle of the foil that's what make it give the look of that stained glass. So when you cut, you don't have to go right at the edge. I try to keep uh, not too much on the side, put it that way. Uh, you could always take a die to cut it with the die. Just make sure you wash your die um, when you're done because it's going to be some sticky on it, right? The reason why I don't use the die, it's because it don't go close enough to my image. I don't want to keep that um, silver on the side, so I like to go closer. So then for me, this worked perfect here. And this uh, leaf, it's very uh, simple. I done with many other um, design. Oh, this was right at the side there. Here we go. And um, it worked awesome. I did some with um, hummingbird. It was, it's just a fun a technique. So when you're all done with your cutting, and if you can see, it go very lovely. Also, one tip when you fussy cut, this is called fussy cut. I don't really turn the scissors. If you've been washing my left hand, that's what it was moving. So now that I got my leaf done, I just use my cardstock and then I use um, Come Gather Together, the designer series paper there. And this was over here. So I stamp my grading, cut a circle of two inch. We're going to mount that together. And then I call it, keep it green so then we don't use cardstock where where we can save the cardstock, might as well use it because this won't show. I cut my layer of two and a quarter there. 
this one it's two inch the layer it's two and a quarter and this gonna go at the top so nobody gonna know I just line up my um, lines and then put my leaf at the top and then voila and I had it a little bow of Cajun craze uh, linen thread this is it my friend and all the measurement will be also uh, I will put it with a uh, split coast and also on my blog that you will have um, access to thank you so much and have a lovely day thank you so much for inviting me bye bye for now